Hey Leos, welcome to the weekly love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 12th to the 21st. So those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you, okay? So it's energy you could be experiencing directly, or it could be someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. And yes, it can be reversed or vice versa because energy is fluid, it ain't linear, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen, and then we're going to go ahead and do the actual tarot reading. So Leo, the energy I was picking up on you, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited for you guys. You guys are about to pounce. You guys are ready to pounce. You're ready to run. You're ready to take off. You're ready to chase after something or wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? A message just came up on my phone and it was too quick to see. That's so weird, but nothing's happening. Mm, hold on, Leos. What the hell was that? Is it even going to let me? Did I get a call? Incoming voice call. Or? I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> it's my mom, who is also a Leo, by the way. Sorry, guys, I got to take this. Hold on a second. I got some family stuff going on, so give me a minute. Hey, Leos. Okay, so sorry about that, but I had to take that call. It was my mama, like I said, has stuff going on. So Leos, like I said, it's like you're ready to pounce. You're ready to go. You're ready to move. You're ready to take action on something, but you're kind of in that, like, pensive part of it. Like, you know, with, like, running right with like runners when they run their races it's like you're in that position and I've actually never been to one but you know like in movies and shit right so like you're you're in that stance to take off and they I don't know if they say something or blow a whistle but it's like two right where it's like okay you're ready and then you do like the butt lift thing and it's like and then you go and then you take off when they're like they shoot the gun or what I know I'm not a runner I don't know um you're in that pensive mode you haven't done it yet but you know you're going to OK, you know that you're going to Leo's, which is why I really like this energy. Some of you, it's like about recharging your batteries. OK, before you do it, whatever you're doing, Leo, whatever you're going to take action on, it seems like it's all more like a strike, like it's going to require a lot of energy. It has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. It has to be accurate. You can't mess it up. And for some of you, it's almost like a one shot thing. Some of this could just be a straight up interview. OK, some of this could just be a job interview or an audition of sorts. But or, or you know, maybe you're going to be approaching someone. You only got one chance at it. Whatever it is, Leo, you're recharging your batteries before you do it, before you go there. And it's also for some of you, you're planning out the perfect way of striking, excuse me, striking and seizing the opportunity or your prey whatever analogy you want to use here okay leos so it's really really nice energy for some of you this recharging part is pain okay so some of you might be healing and getting rid of some pain or coming out of a cycle i did see a frog frog is usually very indicative of clearing out old shit or clearing out baggage okay so some of you are need to do that before you strike in in this new opportunity job relationship just sheer opportunity, whatever it is for you, Leo, you are ready to pounce, but you're not pouncing just yet, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I know my throat chakra has not been awesome today. It's only going to get worse from here on out with Mercury retrograde. So let's go ahead and get these cards calibrated to you, Leo. Mm. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Leo? Please bring forth messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for those who need it. October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You know, Leo, I'm kind of getting a funny energy. This is not going to be for everybody. Um, I'm getting an energy of like, not is it bolstering? Or is it like primping? It's a little bit between bolstering and primping. I think the second you take off, it's like right, bef right before you take off, there's going to be a little window where because you know that your opportunity is coming, the time is right, you've prepared for this, you've had your eyes set on this, you've been waiting for everything to line up, your energy to line up, uh, to have the perfect plan, the perfect strike plan, to go and take it, to go and seize it, that the second you know it's about to happen or that the second you see that window opening, you kind of get a little cocky about it, actually. And it's very masculine. It's got to be for my male Leos out there. Of course, my females could be doing that, too. Uh, a little cocky, a little like, yeah, I got this shit. Like, 
<laughs> it's really Leo. It's very, very Leo. And for my males out there, you might even be primping a little bit, like kind of showing off a little bit, especially if you're pursuing um, a relationship here or pursuing a feminine energy. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Okay. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh my, that's a lot of cards. That's a lot of cards. So this is still the pre-shuffle, guys. We have the moon, Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. Eight of Cups in reverse, more Piscean energy. Wow, Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy. Whoa. Some of you are definitely going after a relationship. Four of Wands could also be a foundation that's built. So it could also be work. Um, or it could even be like a house. You know, maybe you've been looking for the perfect house and it's like you need everything to be right on your bid before you go in, go in and take it, right? It could definitely be that. Judgment, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Four of Wands, Aries energy. Some of you, I do feel like this is a reconciliation. Some of you, I feel like this is a reconciliation, especially with the moon, with the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. This could be a returning energy, but it's being kept hidden right now. It's being kept hidden right now. I'm also getting for some of you, this is something you can't let go of. This is interesting. Something you can't let go of. Yeah, I'm getting different stuff for you guys. So some of you, this painful part that you're coming out of or why you had to recharge your batteries before you put in energy on this perfect strike opportunity. The perfect strike here is the judgment with the four of wands, okay? Whether it's a job you're going after or a house you want to put a bid on or a relationship you want to put a bid on, let's put it that way. Um, whatever it is, it feels really positive. It feels really, really positive, Leo. But this is like, this is the pensive energy. This is what's going on in the pensive energy. It's a lot of emotion, a lot of emotion here, okay? It's either something that we're having a hard time letting go of that you need hair front and reverse that you need to sever from, because it almost feels like a, like a bond or a tie. It's an energetic tie to something that, that has really taken a hold of you emotionally, whether that's a relationship you're leaving behind or someone you couldn't get over. And it's like, okay, you know what? Maybe I do need to reconcile with this person. Yeah, that's kind of how it's feeling. That's kind of how it's feeling. But you're not really talk. Are you talking to people about this? You're mostly just kind of mulling this over inside. Yeah, you're mostly just mulling over this inside. See what else we have here. Knight of Swords. Je look, fat, one of the fastest moving knights, by the way. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. You're not going to miss this. You're, perfect strike. Ah! You're not going to miss this, Leo. It's going to be a perfect strike situation. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Leo, if this is a reconciliation, the person really wants you to come back. Ooh, Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. So you got some anxiety and worries here, okay? Mm. You're not letting it get to the get to you, though. You're trying not to let this get to you, whatever this anxiety is. If anything, I think this anxiety has been acting as a motivator, Leo, to go in for this. I just heard solidify. Yeah, it's almost like you're solidifying a claim here. On an opportunity or relationship or a situation, a job. Yeah. Ooh, six of swords. I like it. To have peace in your life. Uh, Aquarian energy. Whatever it is you're seizing here, Leo, it's something that brings you peace. It's something that brings you peace. You're tired of not having peace is also what I'm getting, Leo. You're tired of not having peace. Also taking that ah, nine of swords energy and putting it to use. Like I said, you're taking that anxiety, you're using it as a motivator. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. And yes, this can be vice versa. I do believe I said that, but I, I know I took that call from my mom, so. Ooh. Ooh, I almost whistled. I don't know how to whistle. That was crazy. I almost did it. Knight of Wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Getting restlessness with this. And frustration restlessness and frustration leo you it's almost like you know that you can't act on it until everything lines up perfectly for some that just means that divine timings at play but i really feel like it's about having the right energy having enough energy for some even having enough resources to be able to have the perfect strike 
like, like, like you know, like how like a cat hunts its prey. It stalks, it stalks, and then perfect strength. They can't miss. You can't miss this, Leo. Whatever it is, you feel like you get like one perfect shot at it is kind of how you're feeling, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the actual reading. So for those who are new to my channel, new to tarot, please understand these messages are very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So sometimes it's going to be you. Sometimes it's not going to be you. And that's okay if it's not you. We have a lot of readers on YouTube. Please check them out. They're all fabulous. We are working with energy, so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa, like I said before. Also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Uh, this is from the 12th to the 21st, but whenever you're guided to watch reading is when you're guided to watch it. We work for energy differently, and time is not linear, okay? Also, any other questions that you have for me about the channel, Please check the, everything below. There's a lot of info down below. And check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And Patreon. Okay. Let's get it started, Leo. Any messages for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Leo regard? I'm seeing an eagle. This could be one of your totems. Um, I feel like it's really more about being guided. Leo, well, you know, some of you were guided to this opportunity. Yeah, some of you were guided to this opportunity. Others of you, your spirit guides are just really close to you. Yeah, it's more, I'm getting more of that perfect strike energy, too, with the eagle. The way eagles strike is kind of amazing. If you ever, like, like, see videos of it, just, okay, pause this. Go and look up on YouTube, like, eagle striking. It's actually really incredible, especially if you find, like, a slow-mo of it. Anyway. Any messages for Leo? Any messages for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Okay. Any messages for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Ah, the sun, Leo. I love it. Oh, that's awesome to start out with that energy, especially for you, Leo. It is, oh shit, hold on. <laughs> Dropping cards left and right. Hold on a second. It is your major arcana card, one of your major arcana cards. And I would say between this and the strength card, I would definitely take the sun. This is happiness. This is freedom. This is joy, abundance, and blessings as well. It feels really positive, Leo. This is what you're chasing. You know it's going to bring you this energy. You know it's going to bring you this energy. I'm also feeling illumination here. I feel like that's more about how you're going to strike. How you're going to strike. How you're going to take off. Any other messages for Leo? I do feel limelight energy with this too. Whatever it is you're doing could be very public. Like I said, for some of you could be an interview. So maybe you're interviewing for something like really big or important or a public, a public job of sorts, or there's just a lot of people interviewing you. There's something public about this. A lot of people, there are many people who are aware. Any messages for Leo regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Ooh, devil in reverse capricorn energy so releasing toxicity is a part of it like i said for some of you, you're coming you, your pensive part before you jump and leap is to recharge your batteries some of you could have been in a very oppressive situation or something that was very toxic something that was very draining of your energy and you're breaking away from that because you know what you could have you see what you could have. Again, whatever this opportunity is for you, it could be in any different sector of your life here, Leo. So take it as a resonance. You know you can have this, but only by releasing this energy and then regaining your energy enough to pounce and go for the sun. But it's, it definitely feels like a one-shot opportunity and it has to be perfect. <clears throat> so for some of you, this could be addictions as well. Okay. <clears throat> any other messages? Any other messages for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Let's see here. Ooh, we have a Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, also my pre-Empress card with the Eight of Wands in a verse, Sagittarian energy. Eight of Wands in a verse is my Mercury retrograde designated card, which again, pre-shadows on the 11th, retrogrades on the 31st, okay? This is conquering that energy. 
conquering your blocks to doing this or conquering this these blocks to getting this opportunity whether it's a job a house any general opportunity a relationship here for some of you it is about a person okay for some of you it definitely is about a person to remove the blocks between you and someone who is very independent i'm getting a lot of independence with this and a lot of discipline with this as well this is very interesting. Uh, Leo, for those of you where it's it's about a relationship or chasing a person down or that one perfect opportunity to get somebody, this is someone who is very independent. Very independent. Also very confident and I do feel like has their own money, like very financially stable, which makes them very attractive to you. To you, excuse me. Don't know why I can't talk today. But there's a block. There's definitely a block to this person. Again, for those where it's an actual person, for those where it's your own opportunity, you got to get through your own blocks here and be very disciplined about it, Leo, in order to chase the sun and get rid of this devil. For some of you, this devil is a block of addiction or like um, carnal energy, right? The things that we, you know, enjoy three-dimensionally that are kind of luxury stuff or just makes us feel really good. Uh, for some of you, that is what it is. Like, okay, I just need to change my lifestyle a little bit, get myself recalibrated, and then I can go for that opportunity. Or, you know, maybe I need to break away from an oppressive situation if I want that person. It's that kind of energy. You got to get rid of these blocks. Any other messages for Leo? <clears throat> Ooh, King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Ooh, I don't like that energy. <sighs> I don't like this energy. I'm getting a lot of confusion. Whoever this King of Swords is, uh, I'm getting a lot of confusion here. Mm. Okay. Okay. This is the energy that's pouncing. So Leo, this is a very masculine energy. It could definitely be a, a female, but we're not reading gender. We're reading energy. Okay. So take this as it resonates. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Because Leo, like I said, this is about you chasing down an opportunity. Before you chase it down in that pensive mode where you're recharging your batteries or getting ready for it, you're really confused on how to get there. You're really confused on how to get there, which is why it's taking discipline to remove any blockages. Blockages could just be confusion. It could be mis miscommunication. It could be carnal desires. It could be addictions. Whatever these blocks are, they're different for all of you. Okay? They're different for all of you. And you need to get you need to get clear on how to remove those blockages. <clears throat> so that's going to require a lot of discipline on your part. Any messages for Leo? Any other messages for Leo regarding love? October twelfth to the twenty first. Any other messages for Leo regarding love? October twelfth to the twenty first. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Ah, temperance. I love it. Sag energy. This is making shit right. This is balance and also reconciliation as well. It's also very healing energy. Like I said, Leo, for some of you, before you can pounce, you are coming out of a healing period. For some of you, it is about healing before you can go, before you can take off and chase down the sun, okay? There's also my divine intervention card. Excuse me. There's also my divine intervention card, my fix it angel cards. So you could be getting a little bit of divine assistance to help you see what you have to do to get ready for this. It's all about getting ready and being prepared for that perfect moment where you only got the one shot and it's that perfect strike. It's that perfect strike. All right, so let's break down these energies a little bit more. Let's look at the sun. Let's look at the sun. Um, or actually, you know what? Let's look at your blockages first. Let's look at the eight of wands in reverse first, okay? Because it's almost like going backwards because this is where you're ending up after you release devil energy from your life, after you're disciplined enough to remove any blockages between you and the person or opportunity that you want. Okay, a lot of these blockages, um, for those who are just chasing an opportunity, it's blockages that you have to get rid of on your own. If it's a person, it's blockages that have been created between the two of you and confusion about how to do it. Okay, so let's let's do, let's go the other way then since it's going backwards. <clears throat> let's look at the Eight of Wands in reverse. You know, for some of you to get the clarity, you might actually have to work backwards is what I'm getting. <clears throat> Sorry, a lot of miscommunication going on in this card. It seems to be a theme for everybody. My throat chakra is going to be like this for the next couple months, guys. So I know it's annoying. It bothers me too. Mm. But it is what it is, right? Okay. <clears throat> so some of you might actually have to work backwards to get to your sun point. Yeah. 
so yeah to, in order to figure out exactly how it, how to go about it and how to get rid of these blockages it's almost like identifying the blockages to get rid of them to move forward does that make sense <clears throat> i want a new throat okay so let's look at the eight of wands in reverse i'm gonna use rider weight for this one tell me about these blockages for Leo, I have the Eight of Wands in reverse. For Leo, for those where you're chasing down a person who is like a pre-empress energy, I feel like they I feel like they're going through a lot. They feel tired. Yeah, for for those chasing a a, a fem, it feels like a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be, but it feels very feminine. They're going through a lot. Okay. Um, and I feel like this person's really good at not showing it. They're really good at just kind of being like, okay, here's my list of shit that I'm dealing with. I can deal with it in silence. Not like they're suffering. I don't think they're suffering. This is a very strong individual. I don't think they're suffering. I think they're just, they're just tired. They're just tired. So I'm with the Eight of Wands in reverse and they're very determined as well. That's something you like about them. You like their drive. You like their drive. They're not a quitter. They're not a quitter. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Tell me the Eight of Wands in reverse. For Leo, regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse. For Leo, regarding love, October 12th. Why did that feel? Oh, I saw an eight. So that's like, why did that not feel right? I, I flashed to August for a second. Something might have happened in August. Or it could, you know, hey, you're a Leo. Your birthday could be in August, right? So I have the Eight of Wands in reverse. For Leo, regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Too many cards, Spirit. Less cards, please. Oh, thank you. Nine of Cups. This is interesting. Piscean energy. Wish fulfillment. Yeah. Leo, you know what you want. You know what you want. You want to be happy. You want to be happy. And in an energy of independence as well in your happiness. Even if that means being committed to someone, being independent. Being independent in an interdependent relationship, okay? Uh, for those who are chasing down a relationship. If you're chasing down an opportunity, you know it's exactly what will make you happy. But this is why you want to get rid of your blocks here. Time with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Time of the Eight of Wands in reverse for Leo. Ew! Four of Cups. Yikes. Cancerian energy here. You're trying you're trying to stay positive. I can feel it. You're trying to stay positive. I'm actually getting like disappointment with this. Why am I getting disappointment? Leo, you're going back and forth between I know I can do it. I know I can do it because I know what I deserve. I know what I deserve and I can fucking do this. You're going between that and like can I really do this though? You're going back and forth. Can I really do this? This is an energy of like, of going back and forth in your confidence, Leo. This is a block, That that's the block for you. Do I really want this? Will this really make me happy? No, this will make me really happy. Oh no, I don't know about that. Maybe it won't make me happy. Maybe this is a mistake. No, you know what? I do deserve this. I do deserve this. I'm gonna have a hell of a lot more in my life if I go for this. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's very back and forth, Leo. You just gotta find your grounding here. You know what you can have. You know, it's just self-doubt starts to creep in. It's self-doubt. It's that negative self-talk. And then it's like, you know what? Maybe this isn't a good idea. No, it is a good idea. I don't know. Maybe it's not a good idea. <laughs> it's almost very gemini actually. Do I have the Eight of Wands in reverse? Do I have the Eight of Wands in reverse for Leo? Oh, Leo. Five of Pentacles. Taurian energy. The more you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, the more oppressed you feel. Oh, this is like, no wonder you have to kind of go back to go forwards here to kind of really see why this block is here, why you don't feel like you have all, all the confidence to do it. Five of Pentacles is being out in the cold. It's also an energy of feeling like you're in lack or feeling like you don't have enough to get by. For some, it's almost like, don't have enough courage. You have enough courage, Leo. You have enough courage. I know you do, I know you do. Um, Oh God, Leo. Okay, for those who are chasing down a relationship, it's almost like you've become comfortable with loneliness. 
yeah for those who are chasing down a relationship this person like i said they're very they're nine of pentacles like they got a lot going on and they are also really busy they got a lot of stuff going on too but they make you really happy they make you really really happy but at the same time you're like you're not sure you want it because you become so comfortable with being alone and it's more than being alone leo it's being lonely okay it's being lonely that's for some of you that's for some of you others be, for the words is just an opportunity not a relationship the reason you have self-doubt is like this this energy of like a one like one strike one opportunity it's almost like i don't think i should go for it because what what if it doesn't work out what if i what if i fuck up what if i take this one chance to do what i gotta do and then it's like then i fuck it up yeah, don't let, don't don't do that to yourself, Leo. No matter what situation you're finding yourself in, I'm picking up on Leos here who are letting self-doubt creep in, and that's going to keep you from from the sun. That's going to keep you from the sun. In the sun energy, sun is freedom. There is no self-doubt in sun energy. If you want to hang on to self-doubt, you'll never get here, okay? <clears throat> Talking about eight of wands in reverse. Talking about eight of wands in reverse for Leo. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Talking about eight of wands in reverse. The biggest payoffs require the biggest risks. Doubt does nothing if you want. If you want big stuff in your life, big abundance, like a lot of joy, ultimate joy, ultimate happiness, it takes risks to get there. And if you have self-doubt, you're never going to take those risks and you'll never enjoy that, you know? Talking about the eight of wands in reverse. We just had a big pile come out, by the way. Let's see here. Ah, oh, Leo, no. We have King of Wands in reverse. So Leo energy could also be fire or air with the Page of Wands in reverse. Oh, jeez. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, and then three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. No wonder you're in a King of Swords in reverse energy starting this out of being all confused and how to do this and how to make this happen. I'm getting so much more doubt here too. Leo, let's start. First of all, let's take these two away for a second. Let's start here with the King of Wands in reverse and the Page of Wands in reverse. King of Wands in reverse, very ungrounded energy. It is the same energy here from this King of Swords. The same person is what I meant to say. Same person. And Leo's, like I said, this can be vice versa. But as the reading stands, I'm reading this as your energy. So it's vice versa for you. Just decide that now. Okay. So Leo... King of Wands in reverse is not a very confident energy. It's actually someone who does lash out sometimes because they're not very confident in themselves. It's also someone who's a little quick to anger. It's also someone who's not very committal to situations or even themselves because of that not being so sure-footed about things, right? Page of Wands in reverse. This is my bad news card, okay? You're so worried about what may or may not happen that it's just like you, you're getting stuck in that self-doubt that might be part of why the devil is in reverse here coming up for you in as far as like the energies is, are concerned to release yourself from that because self-doubt is very restrictive it's very restrictive and it can become obsessive sometimes but yeah this is definitely this is just feeding that feeding that feeding that self-doubt feeding that self-doubt you know also where the where the oh. <laughs> for those of you like chasing down a person or a relationship it's almost like you're already telling yourself it's not going to work out. Because then we have this two of pentacles. Capricorn energy with the three of wands and reverse Aries energy. Yeah, it's like you go back and forth, back and forth. Because you're like, no, it's just not going to work out. 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 It's not going to work out. That's what you keep telling yourself. Um, I'm also getting this energy of juggling. You could just have a lot on your plate right now, Leo. You could have a lot on your plate. Like I said, for some of you where you're chasing down a relationship, the person you're dealing with the person you're dealing with or have your eyes set on, they are very busy, like I said. So you might be like, oh my God, they're too busy for me or they don't have time for me. Um, but you're, it, that's an assumption, Leo. I feel like that's an assumption. Um, so it's different for everybody. But at the end of the day, this block that you have, Leo, is about negative self-talk and self-doubt. You deserve to have the sun. You're a Leo. If anyone deserves to have the sun, it's a Leo, <laughs> right? Whatever this opportunity is, business, other or a person like a relationship whatever it is leo it makes you really freaking happy you already know that you already know that don't let this this negative self-talk and doubt creep in here okay um but the overall energy you ready for this seven of swords aquarian energy sabotage 
this self-doubt is created such a block for you, Leo, going after this that it it's literally sabotaging you. Underneath that, we do have the Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. It's sabotaging you from moving forward and going for it. Okay. Now, were those where this is a relationship opportunity where it's a return of, because some of you I did pick up on that, a return of, this could be the block where maybe you think this person is not going to go for it because maybe there was some not so awesome behavior in the past. Okay. This is player behavior for sure. For sure. This is player behavior. So like I said, for those where you're trying to return back to somebody, maybe it didn't work out because someone was juggling and you're like, oh, they're never, they'll never accept me back. They'll never accept me back because of this, that, and the other. Okay. If that's your situation, you already know. I don't need, I don't need to tell you. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the devil in reverse. Let's look at the devil in reverse. Either way, the block Leo is doubt, self-doubt. Mm, yeah, let's do gilded for the devil. It's so interesting going backwards. Talk about the devil in reverse. Talk about the devil in reverse for Leo regarding love. Talk about the devil in reverse for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Talk about the devil in reverse for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Play out the devil in reverse for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Okay. Play out the devil in reverse for Leo. Nope. Tell me about the devil in reverse for Leo. Ooh, we got a queen of cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. For those chasing down a person... Here they are. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. Feel a very nurturing energy with this. Ooh, ooh, oh. <laughs> My heart chakra just got all warm and fuzzy. Uh, and I just heard let the love in. Letting the love in. Oh, I like that. I like that, Leo. It's also very healing energy. So, Leo, you're going to get past this block and self-doubt by allowing healing to take place where it needs to take place within you. It's about figuring out why you have this doubt about yourself. Once you figure that out, you can heal it. Okay, you can even be a cusper. You can be a Cancer Leo cusper. But I love this energy. It feels really good. So for those chasing down an opportunity, that's what you need to do. I was like, my hair was perfect. Okay. So for those of you chasing down an opportunity, that's what you need to do. You need to start working on your healing and getting rid of that block here. For those chasing down a person, the person you're chasing down, not only are they disciplined and very independent, but they're also very, very yummy <laughs> emotionally. Uh, they're very warm and fuzzy. Talk about the devil in reverse. Oh, the Hierophant. Wow. Taurian energy. Uh, this this is spouse. It's the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Cups. What's Cups? Oh my God, this sounded nasty. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Excuse me. Uh, the Queen of Cups with the hair font. Again, like I said, this is Taurian energy. Uh, this is quite literally like wifey right there. Cancer is the house of hearth and home. It, it's ruled by the moon, which is the mother, right? This is a motherly energy, but with tied with commitment here. Also very intuitive. A lot of spirituality going on over here. So Leos, for those where you're chasing down an opportunity, this is how you're going to do it. This is how you're going to get rid of that self-doubt is by, ah, I bit my tongue earlier and I just bit it again. Excuse me. So Leos, for those of you where you're chasing down an opportunity, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to heal. For some of you, you're going to go and um, seek out therapy. Some of you are definitely going to seek out therapy or counsel of some sort to do this healing, to get rid of this block, to get rid of that self-doubt of why you think this way about yourself or why you feel you don't deserve the sun, which is really what doubt is. It's like if you feel like you don't deserve it, that's where doubt comes from, right? Um, but for those who are chasing down a person, this is something you want to be committed to, okay? Talk about the devil in reverse. Talk about the devil in reverse. 
<laughs> Page of Wands. This is you getting your spunk back for those chasing down an opportunity and really like talking yourself up, getting yourself amped up and getting almost like that bolstery energy. But it's a page, right? So it's like, it's that childlike. It's like, it's kind of fun though. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. It's like, no, I do got this. I do deserve this. What the hell? I do fucking deserve this. And for those where you're chasing down a person, you're about to go tell them that you want to be committed. It, it, I really feel that like one time perfect opportunity to make it right. Talk about the devil in reverse. Ooh, talk about the devil in reverse for Leo regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Got three other cards out here. Time of the devil in reverse for Leo. And then we'll look at the sun. Whoa. 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 Okay. Seven of cups. Scorpionic energy with the six of swords in reverse. Aquarian energy and nine of pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. This is what you're moving past. This is what's being released. The confusion. Like I said, you're starting out confused on how to go about this. Um, this is what's being dissipated with the devil in reverse energy here. And then with the six of swords in reverse, that's more lack of peace. Like six of swords in reverse with the nine of, with, not the nine, excuse me. Six of swords in reverse with the seven of cups. That's a lot of mental torture and, and confusion. A lot of mental torture and confusion, not being able to get over something, not being able to move past something, not being able to see how to get to somewhere to leave something behind, not being able to see that. And with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, also not feeling very confident about it either. This is what is being done away with because for those chasing opportunities, you're doing the healing. You're doing the healing. For some of you, you're going to therapy, you're seeking out counsel, and you're getting yourself amped up and more confident and excited to, to go for it, whatever it is you want to go for. And for those where you're chasing down a person... Again, getting rid of that that self-doubt issue that you have, getting rid of that and getting rid of the confusion and telling this person, I want you. Overall energy, we do have four cups in reverse. So this is leaving behind that energy. Just more of that, just more confirmation, right? Like I said, before it was like, do I want this? Do I not want this? Do I want this? Do I not want this? Getting rid of that doubt. Getting rid of that doubt once and for all. I like it. I like it, Leo. Now let's look at the sun. This is gonna be a long reading, guys. Sorry, I didn't mean for it to be. Um... What's calling me for you guys? <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Hmm. For the sun. Oh, we'll do spellcasters. God, I got cards all over the place. There we go. Sign with the sun. Sign with the sun for Leo. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of the sun for Leo. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of the sun for Leo. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of the sun for Leo. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of the sun. Time of the sun for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of the sun for Leo regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Let's see here. Wow. Ten of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. So don't get deterred by the fact that it's in reverse here because it's something that I know you can have, Leo. You just don't have it yet. And once you get rid of this doubt, you can have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's something that really needs to be pursued and worked on. And it's going to start with checking yourself and your self-doubt here, okay? And like I said, for others where this is like a reconciliation of an old relationship, it has been lost before. Okay, it has been lost at one point. Time with the sun. Time with the sun. Wow. Yeah. Hangman in reverse. Piscean energy. This is you having that wake up call after coming out of this period of healing. Okay. After coming out of this period of healing for those chasing down an opportunity, for those who are chasing down a relationship, you're, re you're realizing what you could have. You're realizing what you could have and what you really want for yourself and how you don't have it right now. Time about the sun. Time about the sun for Leo regarding love. 
<laughs> Eight of Cups in reverse Piscean energy. You're not letting it go. Mm -mm. You're not letting it go because you know you deserve it. You know you deserve it, and rightfully so. You're not letting it go. Again, for those where it's a reconciliation, you're returning, trying to return to a relationship. Tell me about the sun. Ah, and then we get Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, and the wheel starts to turn, and abundance starts to happen, and success and the sun energy start to creep into your life. Overall energy, interesting. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. This is almost missing it. This is almost missing it, Leo, because you were too wrapped up in self-doubt to go for it, okay? And that anxiety, that Nine of Swords energy, it's like, that doesn't need to be there. This is you seriously almost missing out on a really great opportunity, but you only get one shot at it. They keep telling me it's just, it's one shot, but you already know it. You already kind of know that. Leo, rec recognize that where this doubt is coming from. Do the work you got to do to get rid of it because you don't want to miss this. And I feel like some of you might be close to missing it because it's like a one-time strike. It's a one-time strike, okay? Um, let's go ahead and pull some advice from the Spirit Animal deck. And then we'll wrap this up. Any advice? Any advice for Leos regarding the spread? Any advice for my 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 Leos regarding this 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 spread? Oh, oh, nice. A bat spirit, a rebirth is assured, energy of five. Leo, this is you from that pensive mode where you had to recharge your batteries or come out of a very painful cycle to see what you deserve, to see that it's in sight. And it's like, I can do it, but I got to get rid of that self-doubt. Right. You got to go through that change, that healing process of getting rid of that doubt that you have for yourself and wherever it is it comes from. So you can go and chase your opportunity here. OK. Ooh, very nice. Hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. A 32. Yeah. 32 breaking down to five. And it's funny because the eagle is the 23. <laughs> so it's funny. We have a hawk out here. I feel more of that strike energy. That strike energy. Do what you got to do, Leo. Do the healing you got to do. Recharge your batteries. Whatever it is you got to do right there to get rid of this self-doubt. And then you can go in and strike. Okay? And like I said, you're also being divinely guided here as well. Especially those who are very intuitive. And for those who are seeking more of an opportunity as opposed to a relationship, it's def definitely you're being guided to do this kind of healing work for yourself. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? <clears throat> excuse me any other advice for my leos regarding this spread if you're getting visions by the way i'm getting a download if you're getting visions or seeing synchronicities please pay attention to that please pay attention to that that spirit talking to you by the way you got two fives here i know by the way you've got two fives here okay very indicative of a tower moment as well that tower moment could be a light bulb moment or realization any other advice for my leos oh that's it on the bottom ha <laughs> Stag spirit, take the lead. 58. What does that break down to? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, a four. Stability. <laughs> that four of wands just flashed back in my head from the pre from the pre-shuffle here. This is you taking the lead and taking that action. Look, look at your eyes. Look at your eyes. So freaking focused. By the way, you could be harnessing earth energy as a very earth heavy card. We have two air cards here. At least what I would be considering air cards. And we have an earth card here. Um you know what you want, Leo. You got to do the work. You got to do the work to get yourself ready for it because you do deserve it, but you're never going to seize it if you still have the self-doubt. You got to be honest with yourself. <laughs> you got to be honest with yourself, okay? Even if it's a person or just an opportunity and then once you're there, strike, right? 
Don't take your eyes off the prize because it is your prize at the end of the day, Leo. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I know. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Leos. Namaste.